Today, we're going to be talking about the new King Daddy Esoteric Striker build. Let's get into it. The big reason that the meta is shifting for Esoteric Flurry is because of the recent balance patch change over in Korea, which we will undoubtedly be getting in the West here pretty soon. Hopefully, it's in June, if not in July. Typically, when you see an ESO striker now, you're going to be seeing stats that look like this. Somewhere around 1,200 swiftness, 500 something spec, and 500 something crit, with an engraving setup that looks something similar to this, where it's 4x3 plus 2 plus 1. And with this change to this engraving, it no longer really makes sense to have to do this build. Instead, they are moving to full spec crit. However, full spec crit doesn't feel good for most people, including myself. In the King Daddy build that I would like to uh, propose of myself, it is best to go 12 to 1300 spec and then around 550 to 600 crit and 550 or so swiftness. And then on your engravings, you're gonna go five by three with three on Esoteric Flurry. And you can either go Keen Blunt or Curse Doll because you're gonna have somewhere around 80 to 83% crit. That is with no crit synergy in your party. You're gonna be having around 93% crit, which is ridiculous. So you don't have to worry too much about Keen Blunt weapon. It's still a very viable option if you don't wanna mess around with Curse Doll. Quick announcement. My Discord is finally finished. If you're looking for a positive experience on a Lost Ark Discord, that's just a fun place to hang out. We would love to have you in the Discord. I can't wait to connect more with y'all. The link is in the description below. But let's keep talking about this Giga Striker build. Now, as with any class, this definitely has some variability because you can run a three spender, a four spender, or a five spender, especially when you're having this level of spec because you get your gauge back very quickly. I feel like the sweet spot is in the four spender with lightning tiger strike, blast formation, tiger emerges, and spiral impact. There's also some wiggle room with the skill moon flash kick. You could put a slightly higher damaging skill here like flash heat fang, for example, but I really like the Moonflash Kick because it allows a very quick closing skill, plus it gives a lot of gauge and does pretty good damage, and it has decent stagger. For this build, you are gonna be rocking Sky Shattering Blow with excellent mobility, Blessing of the Wind, and Abundant Resources with the Gold Wealth Rune, then Storm Dragon Kick with the Golden Rage Rune, with excellent mobility, Tiger emerges with quick prep, single hit, and ascension with the blue gale wind. When we get a second golden gale wind, this will be purple, but for now, it's blue. For the moon flash kick, I'm running white flame kick at one, excellent mobility at five, and full moon kick at five as well with the overwhelm rune. Next, I have spiral impact with weak point detection, blessing of the wind at level one, and then destruction blow at five with the bleed room. With lightning tiger strike, you're gonna run single hit, weak point detection, and charge kick, along with purple gale wind, and blast formation, you're gonna be running weak point detection, flame explosion, and great explosion with another purple gale wind. Here's where another little piece of variability comes in. You can run the gold gale wind on lightning tire strike or blast formation if you like, but I put mine on lightning whisper instead of the golden wealth rune going on lightning whisper because now that you have more spec, you can afford to put this gale wind on lightning whisper and it goes to the animation just a little bit quicker. So that burst window when you need a really quick like two to three second burst, you can get lightning tiger strike and tiger emerges with your lightning whisper beforehand so it's very very quick but for lightning whisper you are going to be doing esoteric extortion f5 and quick prep f5 and then of course fatal lightning and that is what my preferences are now let's talk about damage rotation typically you're going to have full adrenaline stacks most of the time so i'm just going to go ahead and build those up and your three second burst is going to look like this For your six second burst, it's gonna look something like this. Or you could put blast formation before lightning whisper like this.
and there's your six second burst so you can do a ton of damage in a very short window let's check out the extended parts to see how these damage skills rotate <laughs> And as you can see, I still have 10 seconds before my main combo is up. So if you have to run around and do a mech, reposition, you can do any and all of those things before you get ready to go through your combo again, just like this. This is why this class is so fun. It has so much versatility, which I really, really love. And of course, doing it in style, which is a very, very big part of striker not to mention it is a great class to procal with because almost all of his skills knock him up knock him back in pvp mode he is basically not even fighting back he's always on the ground or in the air getting destroyed those two to three second burst windows like for example when he's not in pvp mode are so good because you're able to do a ton of damage in a really quick amount of time and I really like Procling on my Striker as well. Going through Chaos Dungeons is also a breeze on this class with this spec. So let me go over my Chaos build as well really quick. So with Sky Showering Blow, you're rocking one, three, three. Storm Dragon Kick, you're going one. Tiger Emerges, you're doing three, three, three. With Phoenix Advent, you're doing wide hit, ferocious attack, and nimble movement. I, I laugh because this skill is so funny because he's like he's like Superman's down to the ground. It's it's a pretty fun skill to use. This is why I use that one. And then you're gonna use Call of the Wind God, 333, three, three. Lightning Tiger Strike, 312, Blast Formation, you're going 131, one. Lightning Whisper, 311. But guys, that wraps up this video. If you have any questions about this build or any variations to it, then please ask me down in the comments below. I would love to answer your questions for you, or you could join the community discord and ask me over there. Either way would be fine. But also if you rock a striker or if you are interested in making a striker after this video, make sure to leave a like on it and share this video with your striker friends. They need to know what their next build is so that they can be juicing when the next balance update comes out i'm gonna see you on the next video i hope y'all have an absolutely fantastic day don't forget to subscribe to the channel okay i'm gonna keep you all up to date with everything lost ark keep bringing you videos like this so subscribe to the channel and may regulus bless you through all of your hones and raids this week so that you do not get jailed